Right, tell you there, champs, I've only had this Lenovo Legion 7 for a couple of days and I've already bought one. Yep, straight away, just, yeah, I fell in love with this thing and I've bought one. I'm going to tell you why I did fall in love with it, which one I got, because there is an Intel version of this. I'm going to tell you the differences between the two, and there are some big key differences between this and the Intel version, because this is indeed the AMD version. Now, I have here also an all-AMD-powered laptop, and this one has the 6800M, and we'll compare it to this laptop that has the same sort of CPU, but this one has an RTX 3080. Let me know down there in the comments if that's something you'd want to see, the RTX 3080 versus the 6800M. Give me a thumbs up if that's what you want to see. I want to gauge if people want to see that or not. Now, this thing here, why I fell in love with it and why I bought it. And if you were to guess now, which one do you reckon I went with? The AMD or the Intel? I think there's some salient key points that you need to know about. Now, I actually ordered the Legion 5 Pro and I cancelled that order and I got this one. This is the review unit, but why I fell in love with this is that display, right? 16 by 10, it's a deal breaker for me. You need to be 16 by 10 or AMD buying you has the same resolution as a macbook pro 13 so we're talking 1600p 165 hertz g-sync vrr all that sort of stuff free sync 500 nits of brightness i really do love that and 100 srgb which is pretty much what i output to and even on my xps 15 or 17 i will go in srgb mode because it makes sense because that's what i'm outputting to so that's the first thing that got me this awesome display 16 by 10 when you see it the room you have you know it's a good resolution in between you know high res more than 1080 less than 4k but then you'll get the better battery life still get a high refresh as well all the bonuses it just is a fantastic display and if you know me you know i don't really like to buy gaming laptops i'd rather buy a macbook pro xps 15 17 this is the first gaming laptop where i'm like yep yeah, this is bang on this is right also the design of it i don't mind the design of it and i know people are going to ask me about the hinge oh what about the hinge oh pick it up like that no problem eh do not do that at home i don't recommend it but the design is minimalist it doesn't scream gamer i can turn this rgb off if i want and why i cancelled the 5 pro order was it ended up with the laptop i got with the specs i wanted it ended up being cheaper getting the legion 7 over the 5 pro just a strange one also the power right oh my god the power of this thing all right of course rtx 3080 5900 hx did i go with that one or not Ooh. We'll have to wait and see. But let me just say, I will be comparing this to the Intel version. So make sure you sub up for that. But the design was good enough that, yeah, it doesn't hurt my eyes like a lot of gaming laptops. But getting back to the power, Wolf, this thing can sustain over 200 watts. Wow. I'm just really happy with that. One of the best laptops in that regard. I think the only one was the Alienware 17M would do about maybe 30 watts more than this, 25, 30, something like that. But this does over 200 watts. That's sustained GPU and CPU together. So 165 watts on the GPU, doing about whatever, 75 on the CPU. Together, yes, together. 300 watt power supply. And this isn't a review. This is just why I'd instantly bought it because I fell in love with it. That's the sort of power output I want. It was still only in the 90s outputting over 200 watts so we're talking nearly 225 220 watts now that's unrealistic no workload is going to do that but it just shows you the power this has the thermal performance the output it has it's there and benchmarks are insignificant i don't care about benchmarks i care about its thermal output its wattage output that's going to tell you the performance of the laptop even though i've only had it for two days when i disable everything go to 60 hertz put it in hybrid mode or whatever it is so that's with the igpu enabled the battery life is really good i'm chuffed the bits with this thing now which one did i get well let me tell you i did get the intel version so i will be able to compare these two we'll see which one's faster for gaming etc here's why i got the intel version pci express 4.0 so i'll be able to use these gen 4 or SSDs. Not only that, Thunderbolt 4. Everything I use is Thunderbolt, okay? This is my Thunderbolt audio interface. This is my Thunderbolt SSD. If you use just a normal external SSD, it is like floppy drive speed compared to a Thunderbolt one, let me tell you now. Games will load faster, up to double the speed of your SSD there. Not only that, 
One thing you may or may not know, my viewers will know, but some people don't know this, that your GPU is connected by eight lanes of PCI Express, okay? That is eight lanes of PCI Express 3. The Intel 11th gen CPUs, all right, you get the Intel HD as well, the new version of that, which helps with content creation and, you know, apps that support quick sync, etc. But not only that, you get eight lanes of PCI Express 4, if the laptop's configured like that. So that means eight lanes of PCI Express 4 is equivalent to 16 lanes PCI Express 3. I wonder how much of a difference that makes with battery life too. Of course you can use eGPUs etc. You know when the new graphics cards come out you know it gives you a longer life. Thunderbolt docks, Thunderbolt 4, you get I think two of them on the Intel version and actually the fastest CPU I've actually used is actually 11900. It's actually faster than all the AMDs, the 5900HX included. Yeah it uses about 30 watts more to do that but fast is faster, right? So we'll actually see which one's faster for gaming, etc. I will compare the two. Make sure you sub up. Did I make the right choice going the Intel version? Well, of course I did for me. Having everything Thunderbolt. It makes sense to me. One thing that was very strange is I was getting the Intel version for cheaper than the AMD version. That's wrong. I don't know what's going on. Now, one thing I hate about this is full-size keyboard. Why? Why full-size keyboard? Please, just give me a normal-size keyboard. Even my desktop does not have a full-size keyboard. Come on, it ruins ergonomics. You shift it to the left. You've got a trackpad shifted to the left. And, yeah, it just does my head in looking at it. And it's just ergonomically not optimal yeah don't like that that's uh, i don't know anyway stay tuned for more on this i'll catch you in the next one tally ho